Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hello, my name is Paul, and this is Vicky. Vicky is 54 years old and uh, presents today with uh, some paresthesia in, into the uh, fourth and fifth fingers, and also some weakness throughout the hand. Uh, Vicky is a teacher and uh, does a lot of writing and using things like paper clips and holding files and papers and that type of thing and has been having some difficulty with that lately especially with the coordination of her, of her fingers. Um, five weeks ago, just the uh, second week of December, she started to develop some discomfort uh, in the posterior aspect of her neck which then radiated down into the arm but now doesn't have any discomfort there and most of her problem is down into the uh, fourth and fifth fingers. And so um, through asking her a bunch of questions we found that she had a lot of paresthesia here more so than pain and more weakness uh, than pain and so I first started by checking her reflexes um, at C7, C5 and C6 and uh, those look fine uh, for both sides. In checking her sensation we did notice that she had some loss of sensation along the uh, C7 T1 dermatome. And then in checking her strength we noticed a considerable weakness. So I'm going to have you hold those fingers wide open and in checking her intrinsics we noticed that we really have very very little resistance in, in the thumb and finger here. Also some weakness into wrist extension. Hold here and that collapses quite easily. The last thing we noticed some weakness in was here in the triceps, so hold, and we're collapsing there also. If we compare that to this side, you can see how much stronger she is. Okay, and hold the fingers wide open, and I get some good resistance here, and hold the wrist back, hold up tight, and I can put a lot of pressure. All other muscle groups are looking good. So, we're somewhat suspicious that she has some cervical spine nerve root compression that is causing this. Um, what we want to do is we want to confirm that and we're going to do something called the Marquee Maneuver. It's a test that we developed a couple of years ago that we use pretty much in-house. Um, and so we're going to get you to lie right down on your back. Feet over there. And Adam over here is going to test those same muscle groups before I traction her neck. Hold that arm right there, don't let me push it in. So you can see how it gives quite easily. And hold your hand right there, don't let me push it down. Good. And spread the fingers as wide as you can and collapsing pretty well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have her relax. And I'm going to traction her neck and I'm essentially going to pull that piece of disc material which I believe is at the um, C7 T1 junction, so the C8 nerve root, and we're trying to pull that disc away from that C8 nerve root. And by doing that, we should get better conductivity and less compression on the nerve root, and she should have better strength. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to test her strength now. Same thing, turn that palm up. Hold it right there. Don't let me push it in. She's offering a little bit more. One more time. Hold it right there. So that's. Uh, C7 level. Now let's try the wrist, wrist extension. Nope, and I'm straight. giving about 20-25 pounds of traction. Hold that right there. Don't let me push it down. And she's offering more resistance. One more time. Hold it right there. Considerable more resistance. You okay. can spread the fingers. Still collapsing a bit here though. Okay. So we'll let you sit up. So we noticed an improvement in strength when we tractioned her at wrist extension and the triceps but not as much in the intrinsics of uh, uh, the fingers. And so what we're going to do is we're going to consult with a neurosurgeon and uh, also take a look at her MRI to see how much compression she has at that nerve root. But just wanted to show you this patient because her complaints are mostly here but we believe that it's coming from the cervical spine uh, compression. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed this video and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.